I've been recording brainwaves for about 20 years. I've looked at the brainwaves of almost 1,500 people practicing TN. And over that 20 years, the brainwave patterns remain quite similar. What's changed is the equipment. Behind me you see the equipment I started with. It weighs 300 pounds and only recorded 12 channels. This is what we use now. Records 32 channels. We can have up to 256. It's battery powered. Fits in the carry-on. It allows me to do demonstrations so that when I give presentations on EEG patterns during TM, I can actually show you what is happening. I'd like to show you how the brain changes as a person begins the transcendental meditation technique. So my oldest daughter, Dariana, she's the brains of this presentation. She's an MUM student. We'll be looking at her brain waves when she's sitting, looking at you, and then also while she's closing her eyes and transcending. So what I've done is selected four leads, four points on the scalp. This front top one is the front left of the brain. This bottom fourth one is the front right. The front part of the brain, that's your executive centers. The back is your visual processing center. The point I want you to notice is a number of things. What's going on in the front of the brain is different than what's going on in the back. Also notice how active how thick these signals are. This is very fast processing. This is what your brain does when 450 people are looking at you. The first time that I did an EEG demo, I had the worst stage fright I'd ever had, probably because it's not something that you can fake. If you're you know, really nervous reading a speech, you can kind of fake it. You can't fake it if you start meditating. It doesn't work. Everyone would know. But so I got up on stage and I was sitting there, you know, my heart rate was way up and my palms were sweating and I was probably shaking a little bit. And then I was told to close my eyes and start TM and it worked. Just instantly, all of a sudden, I was having, you know, deep experiences of the transcendent and apparently the brain waves matched it. So I have Dariana close her eyes and she'll begin the TM technique. And what you'll notice is one thing is this fast activity will begin to disappear and you see very slow rhythmical activity. This very high amplitude rhythmical activity is alpha activity. And you'll also see it in all the different sensors. It was first seen here in the back of the brain. Notice as well we see this rhythmical resting rhythm of the cortex here in the front of the brain. That whole mental chatter that's constantly going on, evaluating, deciding, planning, worrying. All of that is settling down. What happens is everything else, all of the normal thoughts and activities, just uh, mental activity goes away. And it just becomes that mental silence that's there anyway. It's really natural feeling. It doesn't feel like you're doing something foreign to yourself. It's just really just kind of letting your, your mind experience itself. What we'll do now is just watch the brainwaves while Dariana meditates. So the point I wanted you to see is how quickly the brain changes and how it's really fundamentally different than just waking experience. This has very real benefits for you as a student. The experience changes the brain. You're adding an experience of silence but it's not dull, it's not passive. There's a lot of vitality, there's wakefulness there, there's alertness. And that brain state and that inner experience is integrated in a very systematic, practical, real way with the ability to think and, and enjoy the world. Lately I've been meditating right after class and I've noticed that then when I do my homework I'm just really efficient. I just get it all done and I'm finished with it. But if I do it the other way around and I try and do homework and then meditate, I have to take this chunk of time in order to kind of relax and regroup after class, I have to eat a snack, I have to do all these other things. So it actually probably takes me twice as long if I don't meditate first. And the intriguing point is, is this happens naturally. It's nothing you have to try to do because experience changes the brain. And moving the brain back and forth from this restfully alert state during TM to focus processing and activity, the two begin to be knit together.
into one very integrated function of brain and consciousness.